The storms, not a whole lot. I mean, when you look at the wide view of the radar, uh, we're not tracking much activity whatsoever. Very isolated uh, showers that are out there. Yeah, they're coming off the mountains. That's where they're getting the lift. We have a lot of moisture across the entire area, but where these storms are getting a little boost of energy going over the mountains. And you can see, eh, get around Alamogordo area, that's where we're seeing some of the showers and storms. Not a whole lot of lightning. They are weakening a bit as they make their way towards the south and the southwest. All right, let's talk about future rainfall. Here is a look at the end of July into August and how the modeling is looking. We are anticipating to be a little bit leaning on the drier side. Uh, the better confidence the farther north you head into Colorado, Colorado Springs and the Denver area. Although temperatures still leaning warmer than average, but the greater confidence up there again in uh, Denver and portions of Kansas as well. Let's talk about precip. Uh, we're going to talk about El Paso here. 2023, last year, from January to this point in time, we had 1.13 in the rain gauge. This time around, 2.85. We are doing quite a bit better. That's a plus of an well, inch and three quarters, really. Now, you folks in Las Cruces, here's 2023 up to this point. 1.67. 2024, from January to this time of year, July, 1.94. So you're in the plus category. Not as good as El Paso, but about a quarter of an inch. So if you look at our latest future track computer model, not a whole lot of activity that's going to be going on tonight. So those of you who picked up some rain late last night, Las Cruces and portions of uh, northwest side of El Paso County, uh, it doesn't look like you're going to see any activity for tonight. So you're going to dry out just a bit. Lots of sunshine across the area for tomorrow. So have your sunglasses. You can see some of these storms. Disturbance going to move to our northwest. So that will allow up in the Gila some showers and thunderstorms in that direction. But really, it's going to be hard pressed for us to see any showers or storms. I've left in a 10% chance. We still have plenty of moisture in place. It's just trying to get a you know disturbance moving through here. We just don't see a whole lot of that. We're going to have to wait on the mountains to produce some storms and then maybe some of the storms could survive our trip. That should be about it. That'll be the only hope I think that we have of seeing some storms. All right, overnight tonight. Temperatures down to 72. If we see a storm, going to be very late tonight. Uh, temperatures down to 98 degrees. Las Cruces for you. Overnight lows down to 66. Sunset time at 808. Sunrise tomorrow for you will be at 616. 95 will be your high temp. Watch over the next several days. 98, 100, 99. So we're going to be hovering right around the triple digits. We're going to be just kind of right there. Go either way. 98 degrees on Saturday, 97 Sunday, but the rain chances should be about 20% over the weekend into early next week. Nicole. Thank you, Doppler. Still ahead on ABC 7 News.